Data analysis is going to be a breeze, so follow along with Module 3 to learn how to change image exposure settings and group statistics. Ready? Let's get started. Image exposure settings allows users to view what chemiluminescence exposures were taken during the run and to view data for different exposures in the analysis screen. To access these settings, select Edit in the main menu and click Analysis. Then click Images in the Options list. All exposures that were defined during assay setup are stored in the run file, and each can be viewed individually by selecting it from the drop-down list. Select each exposure time and look at the chemiluminescence data to determine the best exposure for analysis. Chemiluminescence is measured as a function of time, and often the signal for a particular peak is highest in the first few exposures, then decreases in the later exposures. In addition to the individual exposures, a multi-image analysis is included in the list. When selected, sample data displayed in the analysis screen is compiled from all exposures taken during the run and utilized to calculate the chemiluminescent signal output at the time zero of the chemiluminescent reaction. This calculation represents the kinetics of chemiluminescent reaction and helps to illuminate signal burnout that may occur with stronger signals and longer exposure times. The grouping view is used to analyze replicates by calculating the mean, standard deviation, and CV of named proteins. A group is automatically created for capillaries with the same sample and primary antibody name taken from the assay template. Select the Analysis tab. Group your results and view the associated statistics by selecting View and clicking on Grouping. In the box Grouping Options, check the box to enable grouping. Click Group Across Runs to group capillaries from multiple runs, or Group Across Cycles to group capillaries run in different cycles. When only one run is open, groups will only contain capillaries from the same cycle. The Peak Groups window reports statistics for each named protein in every group, which includes average area, standard deviation, and percent CV. The number in parentheses after the sample name indicates the number of capillaries in the group. The Capillary Groups window pivots the Peak Groups results to show statistics for named peak proteins in individual columns. The mean values for named peaks in each group are plotted in bar graphs with error bars showing the standard deviation. The plots compare different antibodies for the same sample and different samples for the same antibody to allow a choice of presentation. To learn how to manage background, signal burnout, or saturation, and set linear dynamic range, continue to Module 4.